What happens in the summer in Kings Lynn is that we have this wonderful thing called the Kings Lynn Festival, which has been going for about 50 years and more, I think, now. And for us in Kings Lynn to have a first of, you know, launching, first of all, a fantastic exhibition and secondly, a fantastic publication, um, a new um, piece of work on the subject uh, is just extremely exciting. And the 60s and 70s things don't look like anything else. Uh, you, you couldn't actually imagine them being in any other period. This is a hugely ignored area. There's been nothing published on it before and no exhibitions at all. And actually if you look around this gallery you'll see things that are really the extremes of decorative arts. Once you start to see an exhibition like this you begin to see how it works, how they work together and how each factory designs certain shapes, certain glazes, and you begin to build up a sort of visual eye and knowledge about it. I think this exhibition is important because, first of all, it's a subject that's been very neglected. Two things have been neglected. One is the period itself, which is the 1960s and 70s. I think that there's been a, a lot of analysis and a lot of collecting in the decorative arts of the 50s and 60s, but much less of the 60s and 70s. So that period when you go into um, real postmodernism. I also think it's important because um, it, it is a period of time that I collected it where you could collect it. It, it, it was in car boot sales. Um, in charity shops so I could bring together a very large and definitive collection because they were inexpensive. Every small antique shop and junk shop had a, a, a German floor vase in the corner and actually if you look around this gallery you'll see things that are really the extremes of decorative arts. So they go all the way from being very textured and coloured, huge forms, floor vases and so on, um, all the way through to very austere and elegant things, things that look much more like fine art, like Hans Kopa for instance. So we've got the, I think, an extreme of shape, colour, design, texture, and it had been neglected by all of the uh, dealers and um, all of the design collectors for a long period of time. And actually I think this exhibition may well change that perception of, um, of these objects. I think it's really been a neglected area because Collectors and people who, who, who sort of buy something, I suppose, just because they like it, tend, tend to want to know what it is, and they tend to want to know who designed it, when it was made, how it was made. And if you can't actually point at something and learn a little more about it, it sort of makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. So I think that because there hasn't been that much published in the area and there hasn't been exhibitions like this, people just haven't really paid it much attention. I think the texture is, in these objects is, is very important. And some of the um, companies like um, Yopeco, like Rusha, have very, very interesting glazes. That's the reason that this exhibition is called Fat Lava, um, because those textured glazes were referred to at the time as lava glazes. And um, people who collect them now like them to be as thick as possible, as thick and dribbly as possible. And that's why they're called Fat Lava.